हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम बैक दिस इज संजय कुमार क्रिएटर ऑफ सेलेक्टर सब रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल टू गेट ऑल अपकमिंग इनोवेशन अपडेट्स थैंक यू राइटिंग मैनुअल टेस्ट केसेस इट हैज बीन ऑलवेज रियली चैलेंजिंग एंड नन ऑफ अस एवर लाइक टू राइट द मैनुअल टेस्ट केस एंड दैट्स फॉर द ऑब्वियस रीजन टिल सम सर्टेन एक्सटेंट टेस्ट केस स्टूडियो हैज ऑटोमेटेड दिस प्रोसेस लाइक यू जस्ट turn on test case studio and whatever process you will be doing like uh, let's say you have open uh, google.com and you are testing search functionality or searching something or testing your application you just turn on selector sub selector sub will be recording each and everything whether you are doing right click whether you are searching something whether you are performing any action so this problem has been resolved by test case studio and in test case studio through test case studio you can see that like you were able to generate the manual test case you can simply download along with the x pass select like, lots of features were there good but at generally like whenever you raise a bug in any uh, tool like let's say jira or bagasura github wherever you raise the bug you generally used to add the screenshot add the attachment isn't it we never raise a bug like suppose for a test case studio or selectors so of you want to add some feature and you want to raise a bug or let's say feature request so you go to <coughs> bagasura or github there you used to add a screenshot uh, with the each and every uh, issue like we generally never raise a bug as a tester we generally never raise a bug without a screenshot so in test case studio is still that process was manual like still we have to take this screenshot then upload them here in the uh, bug management tool now we need not to do any more those things it has been automated now it will save a tremendous amount of time for you so this feature is li live now so you see now let me show you with the latest version which is uh, 1.2.2 for test case studio simply you just have to update or Uh, if you have already installed test case studio you just update to that or like if you are new you can install it for chrome edge whatever browser you want after installing suppose let's say if we do the same scenario here so here this is the test case studio you just click on this it will open like this this is the window here is the screenshot column and now you start uh, doing the let's say same stuff whatever we were doing here let's say then we click here let's right click on test case studio then uh, let's say click on boot camp here i have a scroll down then i clicked on courses certification practice page quiz Uh, let's come back on the practice page let's type something here let's say selector sub password you can type then company you can type let's say and yeah so we have done couple of steps now if we have to get the test case of the same thing whatever steps we have performed and we want along with them a screenshot here is the magic now you see here in test case studio every step is recorded and for each step there is a screenshot along with the fields highlighted on whichever you have performed the action this will save really tremendous amount of time for you guys like the very first steps we have open website and then we were typing there so enter selector sub into search field then you can see that field is highlighted here press enter key where we have pressed enter key when we were doing like when we were pressing enter then at what screen we were there we were where were our cursor then where we have clicked like here we have clicked on this link so here is the step here is the field where we clicked then right click on test case studio we right click on this then we click on boot camp <laughs> then we uh, scroll here in this page if you recall that we were scrolling here in this page so scroll is also recorded then we click on courses so this way you would be able to like you are getting all the screenshots 
each and everything from test case studio like here we entered selectors of this field and then all those fields we have whatever we have entered it is highlighting them and giving us the result so this way you can auto generate the test case along with the test uh, screenshots you just have to click on download test case it will download along uh, test case along with the screenshots now another good thing is this that you just have to now go to your uh, like if you are using any uh, bagasura or whatever tool you are using you just go to that uh, page if you are uh, if you want to raise issue or if you want to just let's say upload the test case you just have to directly upload this test case along with the screenshots because you have those things uh, downloaded in your system like you have the test case, uh, screenshots if you open a screenshot folder the good thing about that is it has all the screenshot along with the along with their name so you will not have to struggle like okay this is screenshot is for what step so this is open website this is enter selectors into selector service screenshot this is this one enterprise then click on this one this 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 so each and everything is perfectly recorded perfectly uh, documented for you no more time waste in manual effort like pretty much each and everything is going to be covered in test case studio what we waste what we do in doing the like functional testing or uh, so called manual testing most mostly so each and everything is documented very fair manner and most of the things will be recorded now another uh, good thing is here in the screenshot suppose let's say uh, at certain point of time you don't want to take uh, screenshots of some some actions or uh, you want, don't want to take the screenshots of few steps then you can turn off this and now whatever actions you will be performing here let's say if i click here on boot camp okay and then uh, let's say if i i'm trying to register for this boot camp so i click on this and i didn't want it to record these steps so you see uh, a screenshot i didn't want it to record so you see that a screenshot has not been recorded here if you want to take the screenshot again you want to enable now you click on this and let's say if you perform here actions continue to performing the actions here and then uh, if we go back there the screenshots will be taken here so like wherever you don't want to take a screenshot you can disable and wherever you want you can turn on also like if you don't want to uh, like see the screenshots and other uh, stuff there is a filter option as well like you can just turn off this you can remove the column from here a screenshot so now this is the test case studio what you were using before if you will be downloading the test case now it will not download the screenshot it will download only the test case if you want along with the screenshot you just have to uh, click back again and here this will again uh, show you the uh, screenshots so in that case like let's say now you want to again uh, download this along with the test case along with the screenshot so you can download that and it will download the screenshots as well so this will i hope like this will save a huge huge amount of time for each and every tester whether it is an automation tester manual tester developer or manager or you are doing the product testing product manager so for everyone this is going to help a lot and it will save a huge amount of time because trust me today whenever we found any bug or we have to document something we always take a screenshot like this and i'm sure you will agree with me that you take a screenshot like this and then you highlight a field like this that i have clicked here isn't it i'm sure you will agree on this that yes we do like this way so this process is going to be like uh, this process has been automated now you can make a use of uh, test case studio a screenshot feature this will save huge huge amount of time for you guys and if you face any issue if you want any improvement feel free to raise the issue here <laughs> using this feature of test case studio raise the issue here in uh, test case studio and uh, whatever feature suggestion you will get that will be added here and another good improvement has been done in test case studio that it will record the uh, scroll step so uh, like if you scroll here and earlier this scroll was not recording uh, in test case studio but now it will record 
so uh, like continuously basically like consecutive multiple scroll steps it will not show you here it will like now if you will scroll it will not record it will just record the very first scroll and then if you perform any action let's say now we have performed courses here okay so you see that courses is here now if you scroll it will record a scroll so continuously it will not record multiple scroll but after a few steps it will record likewise earlier uh, there was a thing that refresh and reload of the page was not recording so now if you refresh the page in selector sub you will see that sorry in test case studio you will see that refresh step is also recorded so it will be uh, capturing the scroll and refresh as well you have the screenshot feature which will save a tremendous amount of time for you and uh, yes lots of other uh, great updates has been done if you feel any steps has been recorded here by mistake and you want to delete then you can delete that sometimes you will see that uh, it has taken the screenshots of test case studio window itself so the reason is because when uh, like you are performing some action here like i performing click on this and immediately i have opened this one so when it will be taking the screenshot in the background whatever window will be there up in here in this page for that it will capture the screenshot so make sure like see it has captured this screenshot because when i was taking performing action immediately i open this test case studio window so make sure that uh, when you are doing the testing at that time you are not uh, like opening this window here so that it will because test case studio will take the screenshot of that window which will be up at that moment after clicking like after you have clicked here and action is performed well then you can open this one and see that it has been recorded or not you see but like as soon as you click here and immediately don't open this because if you will immediately open this the time it will take to open the like take the screenshot in meanwhile that you open test case studio switch the switch to the test case studio window then it will take the screenshot of that so uh and maximum like it will uh don't record i won't suggest that you keep recording like hundreds or thousands of steps and it will be like keep taking the screenshot region because uh this is adding the screenshots here so of course like every screenshot will uh, take some memory some space so if you will be having like lot many screenshots there in this window then definitely it will uh, cause some performance issue in this uh, window so i would recommend like we uh, we would recommend here that maximum like 30 to 35 steps so uh, at like when there will be 30 steps like uh, <clears throat> if i will keep performing here and then when there will be 30 steps you will get a pop up alert that there has been 30 steps has been taken and uh, after 30 steps <clears throat> you are not don't take the like uh, more screenshot because if you will be like keep taking keep performing actions that time and then like you see that it it will give you this pop up alert like when you will be reaching uh, towards more steps so it will suggest you that download the test case save that and uh, what you do here like either you save this test case or clear all these steps what you have recorded or just simply close this and then you can start from the like scratch this way uh, like it will have the good performance because of course like for the very obvious region in one window if you will keep taking this screenshot and if each screenshot is 200 to 300 kb and when it reached to like let's say uh, 10 screenshot or 30 screenshots so that time it will reach like almost 10 MB of space. So that is the reason that it is not recommended that you take uh, uh, hundreds of a screenshot and then you think that uh, it, it get better performance. So, and generally like we, uh, like in real time scenarios, when we do, we don't take a, like any test case more than 30 around, I mean, 20 to 30 steps that goes like really beyond. If it is going that more than that, then of course, like it should be a new test case in general. So yeah, this is a great update guys. I hope uh, it will help you guys a lot. And this feature will, uh, you guys will love this feature. And to learn more about uh, test cases, studio selectors, uh, I'm organizing this uh, selectors of technical bootcamp. And you can always check here on selectors of website whenever you are watching this video at what is the upcoming date of the bootcamp. So you can register here. It's a single one click registration process. So yeah, I hope you love this feature. And request you all please uh, share test case studio and selectors with everyone and let everyone know about this great innovative feature 
of screenshot and the test case studio how you are saving your time and help others to uh, save their precious time what they are uh, investing and wasting to do the manual stuff and docu in documentation with that thank you thank you so much please like share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet thank you see you see you soon in the next tutorial